Um, and so that's what these instruments are doing. They're looking for polarization, not of optical light, but of microwave light from the Big Bang, the leftover heat from the Big Bang. So remember I said inflation. Inflation is this theory that there's this quantum field that fluctuated, that produced everything that we know and love about the Big Bang. It would also produce what are called gravitational waves, waves in the fabric of space-time itself. That, those waves perturb the electrons, the protons, the early uh, hydrogen atoms in the universe when the CMB, or cosmic microwave background, was produced about 400,000 years after the Big Bang. When light interacts with matter, as you see from the glare, it becomes polarized. That matter would be polarized, that matter in its orientation would change depending on how much gravitational wave energy was present when the CMB was produced. So it's actually a gravitational wave detector. We're using the photons of the cosmic background as a type of film, if you will, and onto which these waves of gravity, if they exist, and only if they exist, they get a, and, and, they get a polarization to them, a curling, twisting twi uh, pattern of polarization that called, we call it B-mode polarization. Mm. Wow. So it's a, it's a lot of logical stuff, but actually it's, it's very well tested and very well theorized. It just it's, hasn't been detected it's, yet. It's quality <laughs> physics going right. into that. Yeah. That's yeah. super cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, literally, yeah. and we have to use, we can't use, the, you know, we can't use an iPhone, we got to cool our detectors down to my colleague Suzanne Staggs at Princeton. Uh, she's built detectors that operate at 0.1 degree above absolute zero, right. using isotopes of helium, and oh, she does incredible stuff, and they're superconducting detectors. They're basically little thermometers. So, you know, you go outside, and not in New York, but in San Diego, you go outside, you can see the sun with your hand. You can basically detect where the sun is using its infrared and in that your skin can absorb infrared heat. Well, so too, we can have detectors that can see microwaves and infrared radiation, and, but they have to operate where it's really cold. Otherwise, right. it's like building you know, the biggest you know, James yeah. Webb Space Telescope and putting it in Manhattan. And so what's the fluctuation of temperature that you're looking for between what the universe has cooled to and what would have been present uh, right at the Big Bang? Yeah, exactly, exactly what we're looking for. So there'll be deviations and about a part in a billion, so a nano Kelvin. So in other words, if, if the universe on average is about 2.7 Kelvin, okay. it would be 2.7 plus a nano Kelvin in that direction, and 2.7 minus one nano Kelvin. So you're looking at the ninth decimal place, right? So a billionth of a, a degree. A billionth of a degree okay. above absolute, uh, from- Wait, 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 and wait. somebody gave you money to do this? <laughs>